Okay, what's up guys? So we're back, exactly, yes. We're back with another video, but this video is gonna be completely different than, uh, than most of my videos. Today is gonna be about a cordless four wood blinds. Pretty straightforward, I'm just gonna go through the whole process. So the first thing we're gonna, the first thing I should I should do is clean up the window, which I already did that. So then the next move is go through the uh, instructions. So I'm gonna open the box. The box is already open. I'm gonna go through the uh, recommended tools. As you can see, we have a pen, probably a pencil, a drill, tape measure, small ladder, and a screwdriver. Then we have in the bottom, we have the components, which we have the screws. We have the clip, the clips is it's uh, are the ones that's gonna hold up the trim that's gonna be at the very last and then we have the brackets the brackets are the brackets that will hold up the the entire blind then we have the uh, the bracket which is optional I'm not using this we have the end cup and we have the uh, we have the top end cup and the bottom then we have the one which um, this is going to be at the very last as well. Then we have the balance, the uh, balance return. We're not going to use the balance return. And we have the balance return clip. We're not going to use the balance return clip as well. Simply because we are installing these blinds inside the window. So the first thing you need to do when you go to uh, get your blinds, have them cut, have them Make sure you measure the three dimensions, which is the bottom, the middle, and the top. So that way you don't run, and you don't run into any issue later on, because Home Depot has the tendency to make mistakes. But we're not gonna focus on that right now. So we already have our blind here cut to the exact measurements. So we, we have the box, we have this box over here, it comes with the little box with all the, uh, let me see, with all the uh, components that's gonna go up there. So we have the uh, bracket. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna separate all the things that I'm gonna, not gonna be using today and the screws. So as you can see, it comes with like inch and a quarter screws and a three quarter of an inch. So I'm not gonna use the uh, three quarter of an inch in this case because we have a lot of, uh, we have plywood. So it's perfect for the uh, longer screws. All right, so we're gonna start with the um, with these two bracket. So I'm gonna start the first one right over here. You can either do this with a hand screwdriver or you can use the uh, drill. So I like to do with the drill. Make sure the uh, the bracket, the long the long part of the bracket goes goes up. I'm gonna leave a little space behind the uh, the trim of the, the frame of the window and the bracket so it'll be about a 16 of an inch which to me is not a big deal okay so then i'm gonna screw this up slow gentle okay so we got the first one up actually not really still missing one screw so there you go so we got the first one up and then we're gonna as you can see I, I already installed two of the brackets but make sure you space them up evenly I mean you don't have to you don't have to be perfect but if you do that will be definitely the best so I'm going to put the next one up here. So make sure 116 between the frame of the wind and the bracket. For some reason, I like, I like it that way. You can always leave it against the, the window frame, but it's really optional. So we got this. We got one screw in. So now we are going to put in the second one. There we go. So this, so as you can see, you just keep doing the same thing to make sure you break them all evenly. 
So once you got that up, the next up is the uh, actual, so we got to put this trim on the side for now. We got to put the wand, the stick, whatever you want to call it in before anything else. Okay, all you have to do the, is just stick it right in. As soon as you hear a little click, it means it's good to go. So you put them on the side. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get these, actually we call them clips. So this is, these clips are uh, specifically designed to hold up the last piece of the trim that you're going to be able to see. So all you have to do is just click right in. The next one over here. And the very last one right over here. So now all I have to do is just bring it right up and click it right into the brackets. All right, so I'm gonna put this in, take this out, because I don't need it. All right, so next we are going to make sure when you put this up, make sure you put the, uh, the bottom Make sure you place the bottom of, of this bracket first. All right, so, so this is going to be challenging. Expect to be challenging. All right, so let me see. I'm telling you. Okay, so we're going to. Bring this down a little bit. There we go. Gotta push this down. Okay, so now we have a space. All right, so. So I'm gonna put the first one in right here. As you can see it, it goes like, you gotta like kinda go a little angle, like 45 maybe 35 degree, push it in, the next one, when you hear the little click that means it's the bottom track is in place, then you do the same thing over here and then you push right in, sometimes it doesn't have to click and sometimes it does click, see, then we got the last one over here, ready in, we're gonna go with this one. This is the one that's gonna, there you go. Did you hear the little click there? So now, we have some blinds up. So now what we're gonna do is put the little trim up, the very last piece. So as you can see, this little trim has like a little, um, has like this space right in between that will fit those little clips right in there. This little clips over here has, you know, they're like pretty flexible. They're made out of plastic. You can push them like together in order to, in order to fit this in here. So you just push them like together and then It'll click right in, so we're gonna start with the first one. Make sure it's the, it's gonna be challenging as well. Okay. Okay, so we got the first one in, got the second one in. Okay, there we go, that's in. Got this third one in. And got the fourth one in. 
So the only thing we have to make sure right now is that it lines up with the end of the trim. The end of this trim has to line up with the trim of the window. So as you can see, it's got like a 116 longer. So we're gonna push it over a tiny bit. So there you go. Now we're gonna check the other side and it looks perfect. Now we're gonna bring the blinds down. And bingo, you got a new blinds and start within what five to ten minutes super simple you can actually do it yourself there we go so uh, an easy piece you know to install all right so this video was completely uh, different videos that I'm used to, but nevertheless, it's a video that brings help for people who are trying to install this by themselves. We're gonna bring this up. Remember, this is cordless blinds. You don't need cordless. All you have to do to bring it up is just pick them up. It holds right up. All right, so we're gonna bring this back down just to test it out again. So super simple, super easy. Don't. Uh, now you have no excuses to change your blinds with this amazing looking blind. Well, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe. If you haven't done so already, until next time. And thank you for watching. God bless us all.